We found that the language consisting of strings with more zeros than ones could be found by the concatenation of two languages. First, the language where there's at least one zero, and second, the language consisting of some number of zeros followed by the same number of ones. These languages had the context-free grammars, and so the context-free grammar of their concatenation would be. Now, it seemed like this is correct, so let's prove it. To prove that this is the context-free grammar for our language, we need to show that for any x in our language, we can produce x. And if we can produce x, then x is in our language. So first, let's show that if x is in our language, then s can produce x. So we can assume that x is in our language. Then x is in the concatenation of L1 and L2. And consequently, x is x1, x2, where x1 is in L1 and x2 is in L2. But since x1 is in our first language, then there's a production from s1 to x1. And likewise, there's a production from s2 to x2. And since p includes all the production rules in L1 applied to s1, and all the production rules in L2 applying to s2, we have S produces a concatenation, and the individual start symbols can then produce x1 and x2. And so if x is in our language, there's a production from our start symbol to x. So let's go the other way. Suppose S produces x. Now, remember, the only production rule from S is S produces S1, S2. And since S produces X, then S1, S2 must produce X. But S1 produces something in our first language, and S2 produces something in our second language. So x is a concatenation of something from L1 with something from L2, and so the concatenation is in our language, completing our proof.